Good afternoon everybody, how you doing? It's me Paddy from Across the Shock and you're very welcome back to the channel. Now, this is a wee different one today and this is my love stroke hate affair with the trapper pattern. And I just want to explain why it is and why it's changing. This was my only trapper that I had in my collection for a long time. Uh, it was... And to be honest with you, it's the only trapper that I've done a real full testing with the Rough Rider um, trapper pattern. Now, it's not because it was better than the case. It, it, you know, material wise, it's probably not. But fit and finish wise, uh, this is flipping action. This was a gift. And this wiped all the others. I had another couple of trappers, but it wiped them out of the way because I used this. And I'm not even a brass person. But. There was something about this and this lovely jigging on the bone here, which is just outstanding. I love the brass bolsters and that. And I don't always like brass, which is the, the truth. But why did I not get on with this? And I couldn't explain it for a long time. And I couldn't work out why. Because what do you get? Now, I want you to listen to this snap. This, this is a particularly excellent it's the walk and talk in this knife is beautiful. Neither blade is touching, but neither blade is straight. So does that matter? Doesn't matter a damn. But it has a lovely half stop and then it goes into the that. Now, why I didn't like the Rough Rider one, because you had this and this. No need for two of them. Ruins the look of a knife. I don't know anybody who does like the two of them. And so many people for years have been saying one or t'other. Not not both of them. So that was one thing I didn't like. Um, I hadn't grown to like that long uh, sort of Californian clip, but I believe it was just because of this that ruined the look of it, because I now actually love the long, slim California clip. There's a place for that knife. There's a place you've got. And a big knife like this, you have reach and you can do small tasks, you know, little fiddly tasks for the end of it. Never mind being a great cutter. These are very thin and slicey, super blades. Now, this is only 448, but for me, this lasts all day long. The spay blade, long and skinny. I'm not particularly keen on the long and skinny spay blade. There you go. The truth is out. I joke and laugh with people. I do love a spay blade, but I like a beef spay, you know, a beef. I like a big beefy spay blade because to me, that's more for everyday use. I can, can you? I can understand this sort of going behind and doing a, a, a cow's bits and pieces, but I'm never going to do that. Never. So, you know, yes, I, I understand why it's there. It's the original pattern, but you can change. I think if it was fatter, it would be a nicer um, everyday use knife for me, just for me. So the spay didn't really do it for me on this. But again, listen, that walk and talk, it's fantastic. The fit and finish in this Rough Rider is exceptional. Absolutely exceptional. This is its one of the nicest Rough Riders I have, if, if I'm going to be honest with you. I love the shield on it. It's just super. Let me go bring it over to get a close look. But, don't like the big R, but you see it disappears with the brass. I don't notice it so much with the brass, which is nice. It's probably why this is kept. But to get on to the point, I found something better that's roughly the same size, a little bit smaller than the trapper. And it's a pattern that I like the look of. And I'm going to show you what that is. It's this. This is the case copperhead. I just think this is super. Uh, now, I particularly have got another, we've got a single blade one of these, uh, which is in a clip point. But I decided in this one, when I bought this one, I bought this new... Look at that beautiful worn cliff. Now, to me, that is a more useful blade than the spay blade. I, you know, I'll use it more. Just just saying, you know, because it's got a nice point. I don't have to get away up. I know it's not really a hassle doing that, but, it, you know, it's great for cutting down there. Not great for sandwiches, or, and it's not great for in the kitchen, but it's great for everything else in EDC. I love that uh, worn cliff blade. And here's the little killer. The little pen blade, I definitely prefer that to the spay. 
It's a more useful little knife. It's small, it's agile, it can get into places where the big one you don't want to use. This will do detailed work. So I loved everything about the copperhead pattern, the two blade and the single blade. I love the shape of it. I loved it in hand when I was holding it. It's so comfortable. There's nothing digging into you, which there isn't in that to be fair, but this is even more comfortable than that. So my journey into trappers went for a long time and then I found the single bladed trapper. Now this one is a particularly gorgeous one. Uh, this is a Shatton Morgan uh, slimline trapper. And this is where this blade, I believe, comes into its own. Look at that lovely. And I'm going to get them out and put them beside each other so you can sort of see the difference. The thing that changed for me, you can see how much thinner this is, but the blade's very much the same as the, uh, as the Rough Rider or the Case Trapper. Look how beautiful that single blade is. It, you know, it is just a little bit thinner, more gentlemanly. This is what I would call a gentleman's carry. But it's beautiful and it got me into slimline trappers. And I just love this and started using it again just recently. And I adore it. Beautiful calm tang, beautiful snap, beautiful centering. Love that knife. Love it. And then not so long ago, I got given this one as a gift. This is the John Wayne Case uh, Single Trapper. But it also has a thumb stud for opening and it has a liner lock. Again, it's that single bladed trapper. There we go. But look at the difference. I love this blade on it and it's a hollow grind. It's just, you know, this is just classic absolutely classic long slim and to me every bit the gentleman's carry and it's got that liner lock on it i just love this when it's in my pocket i think it's a super stylish knife and you know i really was getting i was thinking i'm going to head down and just get that single route but then when i'd done a trade the other week i ended up with this and this is the tony bow's special edition um trapper this knife has blown me away. This has put Trapper back in my, my, my marketplace again. Because I think what I found out, it's not so much the pattern I don't like, because I actually love the pattern of a large hand, so it suits me perfect. It's the blades I didn't like. And this changed it. This case changed. And it actually changed my mindset on the Trapper. I do like Trappers now. Because I love the single blade, but this is a double blade. And I'm going to show you why I like this so much. First of all, you have the lovely clip point. Look at that. Beautiful clip. Lovely big swedge on it. Smaller swedge on that. Lovely big swedge. A bit fatter than the Rough Rider. And look at that handle. Come on. That handle is to die for. That is some of the nicest jigging I've ever seen on any knife. And I love that long blade. Now, it's not so much upswept as the, the I think the case is the same. It's a little bit upswept, but it's just a straight clip. And I just absolutely adore it. I think it's fantastic. But the blade that I really like on this is the secondary, which is, and these are both the same size. So secondary sort of maybe not the right word. Look at that peachy of a, well, I would just call that a Skinner blade. It is beautiful. It's a clip, uh, upswept sort of clip trailing point. But look at that blade and the difference between that blade and this blade, to me, just, like, doesn't that look so much better? Can you imagine a trapper with this blade exchange for that? How flipping gorgeous. And again, I mean, this is great jigging, but this is classic old time Tony Bowes jigging, which is just tremendous, tremendous. So as much as I love this knife and, and in use, I mean, this spay blade as a box uh, splitter is absolutely fantastic. But this has absolutely changed everything, all my thoughts 
on the uh, the case trapper and the case trapper, and it has now become definitely um, my favourite case by far because it has two full blades and they're blades that are beautiful. They're more useful than a than a, a California clip and a spay blade, and I'd love them to come out with more models that have different blades on them. And you know, can you have a trapper with a large blade and a pen blade? I think you could, but that's another option where you could have maybe a fatter uh, main clip and a small pen blade. I don't know if that's out there, but I'm going to start looking now because this genuinely has changed my whole opinion of the trapper pattern. And this, I'm just going to show you, straight up the centre. This is, you know, it's a very expensive knife, but it is just amazing. And it has changed my whole opinion on the trapper pattern. And I don't know whether anybody else has had that problem. I know it's a sort of the sacred knife, the trapper. Everybody buys it, the most sold, all that sort of thing. But it just didn't zing with me. It really didn't. And it took me a long time to find out. It is just, I'm not keen on that spay blade. And I know you have the heritage. And I'll always have one with the spay blade on it because that's the heritage of knife. And this will do. This Rough Rider is immaculate, absolutely stunning. And I want to keep that. But that case is better than any other trapper I have seen in all my time around. That single blade is better than all the rest. To me, the, this is in their, in their own genre, in their own... The, these are my favourite. And this here is just a, a stunning one. This is my John Wayne one. My age group. So I now have four, two single blades, two double blades... But I'm looking out for more. And I'm sure Case must do more with different patterns. And I want to search them out. And that's what I'm going to, you know, that gives me a, a search out. I still love this Copperhead. And if you don't like trappers because of that blade shape, um, these are easier to come by. There's not that much difference in size. Nothing that you would ever know in use. But try the Copperhead. Doesn't have to be the Warren Cliff. I just particularly liked it. But having that little pen blade just makes it more EDC friendly because sometimes you don't want to bring out that big, big blade. And I, I always like colour. Colour disarms a knife. Um, I just think that's options. So there's where I am with trappers and the copperhead. Two patterns I now love rather than just one. And that is just fantastic. Really is just a, a joyful change. After years, and I mean years, of struggling with the, the, uh, the pattern, and I hate doing that. I hate not not liking a pattern and not being able to put my finger on why I don't like it because it's so easy in this day and age. Oh, I don't like it. And I like it. You know, I'm not going to do that. Don't like it. And I'm guilty of that. Hands up, two hands up at a time. But it's taken a few years and I'm a bit slow and it's probably the same. I have that same fight with the canoe. I love the canoe pattern. I think it's fantastic. In hand, this knife is absolutely stunning. Stunning in hand. But I've had a clip point on it. Completely different knife, I think. Never find one. But, I mean, this is a beautiful knife. I never carry the blimmin' thing. I never carry it. And I love it. It's a beautiful looking knife. Too fantastic. You have a pen blade on there. Imagine that with a lovely clip. Maybe it's out there and I just haven't come across it cross it because I haven't looked much like these I stopped looking because I just didn't like them and maybe I'll maybe I'll find a canoe with that blade shape on it a clip point I just think it would make such a difference to that knife for me but there you go there you go um it's just a wonderful word of our heads and and, and we're ruled by our heads and eyesight ruins things for me it's it, if it doesn't look in my sort of genre of looks, I find it very hard to love a knife. But when it's just part of it and then you find something that's completely different in that same pattern, it can change your whole opinion and it has changed mine. And I mean, I've been using this more, definitely using this and this, simply because I worked out, I like them in that shape. Just, and this is something terrible because everybody out there knows I love a spy blade. Um, but there you go just the chat just my thoughts 
Does anybody have the same thoughts? Anybody had to, maybe they didn't like the the uh, they didn't like the clip and love the spay. I mean, we're all different, and that's the joy of it. But so, tell me what you think, or is there a pattern that you took years before you warmed up to it? Because this really sort of set me back when I realised all them years I was just looking for a different bladed knife. There you go, Paddy's away. Gonna have a cup of tea. Well, I've got one here, and it's just gonna get swallowed. There you go. Take care. Bye bye now.